the challenge system has been confirmed in Halo Infinite by 343 and a unique challenge system called Challenge Swaps that you get by buying Butterfingers. In this video, we're going to explain it all. Even though we had some bad news about Chris Lee leaving Halo Infinite's project, guys, we do have some good news confirmed by 343 that the challenge system is coming back to the game as well as you can buy some butterfingers for some awesome new goodies so we're gonna get right into all that in this video but before if you do anything make sure to tap that like button guys let me know you want to see some more content like this on the channel and it really helps out the channel and video guys so let's get right into the information here so let's build this story up guys of how we got to this point to figure out this whole thing so recently butterfinger on their website posted up that they are currently doing a promotion sorry i look all yellow it's a website, I can't help it, it's on my face. <laughs> uh, but you can see right here that they're doing some kind of promotion with Halo Infinite in a way, and I can show you exactly how this whole thing works. So if you buy two items, every participating product for every transaction that you do, for every two, you earn some new items. So right here in this case, for you buy two Butterfingers, for example, you get an emblem with Game Pass for seven days. Pretty awesome deal right there. Buy another set of two, four total, we'll give you two emblems, you got a set of three, would be three em emblems, a set of four, which would be a grand total of eight total <laughs> Butterfingers. If you really like diabetes, you can have all four of these emblems, which actually look pretty dang cool. If I can kind of zoom in a little bit for you guys here to get a better view of this. These look pretty awesome, actually. Like, obviously, like, they're very Butterfinger colors, which kind of makes me not want to use them. But, hey, you know, if you're buying them anyways, they got a chance to, you know, get some more emblems, which is pretty sweet. But a new mechanic here was introduced within this post saying a challenge swap. If you get up to five times the two purchases, so like 10 Butterfingers or like Butterfinger-like products in total, you earn a challenge swap with five challenge swaps, which is kind of interesting. We, did, we haven't had anything like this in Halo before. Well, the way we found this out was it wasn't exactly 343 telling us, it was kind of brought up to us because if you check out right here, guys, we have the YouTuber, Sean W, who also does great Halo news videos. Check him out if you want to, guys. Uh, Goes in talking about this, like, hey, what the heck are challenge swaps? Is this another form of microtransactions? Well, Unicheck actually replied to this, and I'll read this word for word so it kind of ease off any form of confusion of me trying to interpret what he's saying. He says, yes, challenges. You also have those swaps, which you can get different ways in game, promos, etc., that let you change certain ones if they aren't your cup of tea. The challenge system will help you move through the progression system or unlock items outright, think MCC. So for one, confirms the challenge system coming back in Halo Infinite, which is great. We need a challenge system. It's a great way to hop on. And does this actually also confirm that we have a season pass? He says, think MCC when it comes to unlocking progression system. What's like the MCC? It's like a battle pass system with different tiers and items and stuff like that. So it would make me think and another that would mean a battle pass would be coming in with Halo Infinite. This like vicariously confirms it, but at least we have the challenge system for sure. Now this doesn't mean that you have the ability to change out different challenges, which currently in the MCC we don't have that option. You just have your long list of like about 10 challenges a week for PvE, 10 for PvP, and like whatever seasonal ones you want. But it says right here you get a chance to switch out those challenges using these challenge swaps. So I'm thinking, okay, so you have specific challenges that you can change out if you would want to, but my guess would be that you would probably want to have very many challenges to choose from. So what this makes me think of is something along the lines of, say, Apex Legends when it comes to their challenge system. If you want to check it out right over here, uh, you can see the different challenges you have here on the right side. You have five daily challenges that you go through every day. Now you also have your weekly challenges on top of that, and also seems like your seasonal challenges as well to go through this kind of system. Now say for the daily challenges here, it says uh, deal 2,500 damage, and you go like, well, I don't want to have to do 2,500 damage to you know complete this, so maybe I can re-roll this challenge like I can right here, and I have to spend a certain amount of credits. I'm not gonna bother with that right now because I don't really play that whole lot of Apex. So uh, my guess would just be something similar that we'll see for the challenge swapping that we'll have available. So it might be some kind of currency or some kind of thing you have to play through to unlock to 
get this special kind of challenge, I guess, when it comes to being able to switch out what kind of challenges you want to do. One, I think it's a good thing to have a different kind of currency for it or some kind of uh, thing you have to spend to change your challenges so then you just don't keep re-rolling and re-rolling to get exactly what you want. Because the idea of the challenges is to kind of get you to do something in the game that maybe you wouldn't be doing normally or just play in a different way to kind of freshen up the experience a bit. But honestly, like getting these challenges and getting these challenge swaps added into the game right here. These different emblems look pretty sweet as well. Uh, just really cool to see this kind of addition is coming into Halo Infinite right now. Finally, some good news to talk about. Would you guys find yourselves using these kind of emblems? I mean, some of them look pretty sweet. Like this uh, emblem two, three and four look pretty cool. One's pretty basic, but everything else looks awesome. Plus also having five challenge swaps available for you. If they're willing to hand them out like this rather easy when it comes to just you know, paying for candy bars and stuff like that. Uh, so you get five of them. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I have a feeling then when it comes to these challenge swaps, it'll probably tied into the season pass as well. So as long as you're playing through the game and working your way through the season pass, you'll be unlocking these challenge swaps that you can earn in game, which are pretty awesome. You know, this kind of also falls in line with what we also have right now, right now when it comes to the different uh, candy challenges and stuff like that. Uh, Chips Ahoy kind of stuff with like Nutter Butter, Chips Ahoy and Oreo, where if you buy these right here, you get uh, some emblems and in, thrown into the mix as well. Now with these various Nabisco products, you can obviously, we already knew about the uh, granular armor. We also knew about the uh, Monarch armor coming through this as well. And also previously we do know about, now we have the, these emblems coming through as well through Sour Patch, uh, through these different candy bars I've never seen before. You get like the Monarch looking kind of uh, emblem attached also you can get trident gum to do the same thing as well uh they did cite it within the terms of Sermus guys here if we kind of look us up real quick that uh, you can see that the uh, armor coating again like we already knew this but this was confirmed recently uh but this was in the terms of service saying it offered the offers a five dollar value where the different emblem you can see right here is a two dollar value when it comes to us dollars two dollars when it comes to these emblems as well so um like a, well, like a Butterfinger rant runs about like what a buck, maybe a buck twenty-five or something like that. Maybe you get a two for one some sale somewhere. So you can get a chance to earn yourself some new emblems within Halo Infinite at a lower price than what they're actually offered, which sounds weird to say. So this is great to see that Halo Infinite will offer challenges back in the game. Uh, they also offer challenge swaps if you'd like as well. It looks like it's gonna be kind of a similar system as Apex Legends, which would make some sense when it comes to that stuff as well. Let me know what you guys think about the whole challenge system, potentially also confirming the season pass as well as the swap system. Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you missed any content for me, check out the videos on the screen and over here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos. You've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.